Hey guys, Bishmi back again with the Pokemon World Domination Week 8 battle. Um, this week I'm going to be battling Brandon, uh, captain of the Atlanta Sable. And um, yeah, I'm kind of nervous about this battle because currently I am, um, I think I'm 4 and 3 right now. And um, to get into playoffs, I definitely need to win this week eight and my week six battle. So, um, yeah, let's just search. And um, so we do find him really quickly. Um, Brandon also has a scary team. He has Dragapult, Mandibuzz, Clefable, Helios, Araquanid, Claydol, Preserker, Rybombi, Toxicroak, and Heatmore. So I'm not sure what he's planning on bringing, but you know, I did prep my team accordingly. Um, so let's just wait for him to pick that so we could go through my team. So here we go. Um, I got my Corviknight with the Brave Bar, uh, Brave Bird Taunt, Roost Protect. That's mainly the stall out Clefable. I am max Bedef and max HP. Um, let me just, look, let me just make sure. Yep. And, um, I also have my... Espeon, Espeon will outspeed the Dragapult unless he's um unless he's also scarfed, so I'll be able to see that. And I'm expecting him to run Spadef, um, Dragapult. Sp I mean, <laughs> uh, sp special Dragapult for the Corviknight. Um, I got Galvantula for Sticky Webs to slow everything down. Um, Thunder Wave, you know, paralyzed stuff just be annoying. Um, Sandaconda for Webs. I mean, for rocks. Oops. Conkelder. Um, he's there to stop Mandibuzz. Um, Clefable also. And Heliosk with the Earthquake. Um, Sandaconda also comes in on Heliosk. And I have Jellicent just to um, burn stuff and be that defensive wall since I did take all my defense off of Corviknight. So, um, did I? Okay, yeah, team one. So let's not waste any time and get into this battle. All right, let's look at his team. So he has Raibombi, Dragapult, Araquanid, Claydol, Helios, and Toxicroak. So he did not bring Clefable, which is really good. Um, it's looking like he has webs on his side. So I'm not going to waste any time and set up my webs with my uh, Galvantula. Um, who else looks good? Clefable opens up Espeon, um, Rocks, okay, see I'm just gonna leave Galvantula and get off my webs at, for, at the start. I think he might leave Claydol or Raibombi, Claydol for Rocks and um, Raibombi for webs. So let me just pull up my notes real quick so I could track the kills. Yeah, this match really got me nervous this, this scary team this drag ball team so yeah if anything i'll use game one to um scout a lot not sure why he brought the toxic croak maybe to um absorb my toxic spikes since i, I do set those down a lot but um toxic croak falls to espion a psychic and um an earthquake from conkeldor or sandaconda um I'm also leading Galvantula because if he leads Claydol, I could get off a of Bug Buzz. And I do know that I live one hit. Um, Araquanid also could have webs and I could send off a Discharge. Um, so yeah, Galvantula just looking like an excellent lead. And let's get into this game one. Oof. So he leads off with Helios. Not sure what this thing wants to do, but I'm just gonna set up webs. Okay, so he goes for the Volt Switch. It's breaking my sash. Oh, he got a crit. Let's see who he goes out to. I also have Jellicent to spin block in case he goes out to Claydol. So he does just go out to Claydol. Um, 
as I get up my webs. Now I'll go Jellicent here to spin block. Jellicent does have the skull recover. So um I think I could saw this thing out. He also might be screens. I could have also went for the bug buzz there, but um just because I, I really want my webs to stay, I'm gonna go out to Jellicent. Okay, so he goes for Earth Power. <laughs> Not doing any damage there. And now his Earth Power is disabled. I'm expecting him to switch out here. So I could go for a burn. Or I could uh, just scald. Maybe Dazzling Gleam. Let's see who he might want to switch out to. He might just stay in. Let's see, let's see. I'll go, um, I'll burn. I'll burn here. Yeah, as he does switch out. Expecting Araquanid. Okay, so he just goes back out into um, Helios. It's gonna slow it down. Okay, what I did remember is that this thing is dry skin. So now I might just wanna go back out into um, Galvantula. Or maybe even. Um... You no, know I'll go Sandaconda. Definitely not staying in. So even it's either one of these two. Um, hmm. I'll go out to send counter so that I also have a chance to get up my rocks. Okay, so he goes for the grass knot. See how much damage this does. A lot of damage. Um, I do get up my sand. And I could either set up my rocks here or set up, um, or I should be faster since I am max speed. So Earthquake would hurt. Um, let's see if he has an Earthquake switch in. Um, Clay Doll might have Levitate and that's the only thing. So I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Oh, okay, so he is still faster. He might be timid. Um, I'm going to... I gotta remember that for next game, so even at minus one, he is faster. Um, here I just go out to Conkelder. And I'm gonna Earthquake. Yep. Should catch any of his switch -ins. Let me Let me write that down. Helio is KO's Sendaconda. So I, I gotta play this match with no rocks. It's alright though. He sends out a Nasty. His uh, Araquanid. I go for the Earthquake. It's probably max defense. Yeah, he just eats that up. He might have the Leech Life. Um, I don't think I have anything to hit this drain. Yeah, it kind of falls my Conk Elder. So I'm just going to switch out to Corviknight here. Hmm. Or I could go Galvantula. Yeah, I'll switch out to Corviknight. So I do know that my Conkelder will be able to wall his um <coughs> his um Helios for next game. The grass knot shouldn't do anything. Here I'm just gonna I wanna taunt. I could Brave Bird. He's gonna switch out. Probably into Helios. So I'm just gonna switch here into, uh, let me see, Galvantula. Galvantula should be able to live a hit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go back out into Kunk Elder. I want Corviknight to try to scare this thing out. Let's see if he switches. Yep. Into his clay ball. Yep. So I'm expecting him to just go back out. 
or he might go for the psychic type attack. Hmm. I want an earthquake. Uh, I'm gonna have to read this. I'm gonna go for the ice punch here. Yep, so he stays in extra sensory. Doesn't do enough. Let's see how much ice punch does. That is defensive as heck. Let's see, I'm gonna have to switch out here. But he brought this in on my Corviknight. Hmm. Color is just so good in this match. Hmm. Gonna go, gonna switch into Jellicent. That Helios is a problem. He could have spun. Let's see. Yep. Great play. Um. Here I don't see him staying in. He probably always switches out to Helios or um, Araquanid. So let's go for the Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I can't. I can never afford to. Um, I can never afford to scald. As long as this thing's alive. You see, him going for a electric type attack is free as hell now that um that Sandaconda's down. So I might just go into Galvantula. Mm, I don't have I don't have anything to counter this. I shouldn't have let him go down. I shouldn't have let Concoder take so much damage. I want to stay in here. It'd be so good at as a wall. Damn. Yeah, this thing is a problem. Eventually, it's gonna get two hit KO'd here. But I didn't want Concoder to come in and take a hit. Okay, so you just both switches. If he goes into Claydol, I gotta switch in Jellicent. Cause I cannot afford him to um, take my webs off the field. Jiraiya. Goes on to Toxic Rope. Mm. I wonder if Galvantula is faster. Might just stay in here. Paralyze it. If Gal if Galvantula dies, I get a su free switch into Conkelder, even though um it gets walled by a Raccoonid. Okay, so he Rift draws. Goes out to Dragon Ball. Let's see if I hit my Thunder Wave. Let's see if this is clear body also. Okay, so I do hit the Thunder Wave, paralyzing the Dragon Ball, slowing it down immensely. Um, now I am definitely faster, even though none of my attacks can hit. I might just let my Galvantula go down here, because I could come into um, my Espeon next turn and KO it. So, I'll just go for the... whatever does more damage. Yeah, gonna go for the Bug Buzz, I have a chance to drop its Spadef. Okay, so I don't get it. He just goes for the Thunderbolt. I'm expecting him to be uh, Specs. So let's go into my Espeon here. It is Choice Scarf, so it should outspeed anything on his team. And it definitely KOs the Dragapult. Um, let's see who he has left. So yeah, nothing like um, a Moonblast here, or Dazzling Gleam. You should switch out here. That, um... Okay, so he just... 
Let's Espeon KO Dragapult. I haven't been recording. Espeon. KO's Dragapult. Um, and I'm pretty sure... No, I think I think that's it. Here we go, KO Sanaconda, Espeon, KO Dragapult. So that's a big threat out the way. Let's see who he goes into. Um, his Anasi. Um, here I'm just gonna switch out. Espeon did his job for this game, but um, I'm still not out the water. Oh, Galvantula got KO'd by a Dragon Bolt. That's what I missed. See here, I'm just gonna switch into Corviknight. Probably goes out to Helios. So let's see what he goes for here. Liquidation. Does a lot of damage to my Corviknight. But I know that this thing is slower. I might want to keep my Corviknight healthy. I'm expecting him to switch into um, to Helios. I need, I need as much damage on that thing as I can get, so I'm just gonna go for the Brave Bird. He goes out to Claydol. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Claydol does have the Levitate. Brave Bird doing some damage. Um, like I said, I'm expecting him to spin here, so I always go Jellicent. And this damage on Claydol is crucial. I don't care if he does a double into Heliois because I really need these uh, these webs up. Too bad I don't have Mock Punch on my Conkeldur because I'd be able to um, come in and let's see. So he goes for Stealth Rock. Pretty good. So I should have gone for the taunt. Here, here I just dash on gleam. I can't scald knowing that his um, Heliosk is still alive. So he recalls. Goes out to Helios. And I think. Let's see how much this does. A lot of damage. Plus a burn. Pretty sure this thing is um specs. He might go for the volt switch. I'm gonna bring in uh Conkelder here. Kakelder should eat this hit. And I might want to use my Dynamax. If he Dynamax is here, um, that would be one hell of a play. He'll probably Volt Switch into uh, Right Bombi. Okay, so yeah, he, he does Dynamax here. So let's see what he goes for. I'm pretty sure he was choice max, max um, attack and uh, timid. Not sure why would you Dynamax a Pokemon so low on HP. He goes for the max Geyser. Okay, I wonder who is he planning on hitting. And my Conkeldur taking a lot of damage there. I'm not sure I'll be able to take another one. That's uh, okay. So he set up the rain to heal himself. Conkelda is really low. I might want to sack something and then um, wish pass with my Espeon. An electric type attack is free for him. Um, 
I'm not sure if I Dynamax here. Let's see. Conkelda, I need my Conkelda, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna Dynamax and Max Quake. Let's see what happens. I am AV. Um, it should give me double health. Even though that, that did a lot of damage. If he goes for another Max Geyser, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I don't think that was the play. Okay, so he goes for the max overgrowth. See if I live it. Okay, I do. I live it on 17%. So I'm gonna be able to KO the Helio S here. If he would have went for anything but um, max overgrowth, I was dead. Most definitely. Now that his Helio Isk is down, I get to Skull Fruit and so... Con Kelder... KO's Helio Isk. So his top two um, offensive mons are down. He still has the right Bombi in the back that has not seen the battlefield yet. Um, my... okay, three minutes, wow. I don't even think we've been battling for that long. Um, here I cannot afford for my Conkelder to go down since it looks like it's going to go to time. Um, he goes out to his Arachnid. I gotta go Jealous in here. I wish I was... Um, I wish I was water absorb. Sorry. This tiger. Liquidation. Making contact. Doing quite a bit of damage. Holy shit. How um, invested is this guy? But I mean the um the rings up, so that might have something to do with it. Um, I'm gonna wisp here, so that it's not doing as much damage. Okay, I am faster. Water bubble. Uh oh. Yeah, I gotta recover next turn. Is that a crit? Yeah. Pretty sure he just stays in and um, just keeps clicking um, waterfall, um, a liquidation, anyways. Damn it! With the ring on, this should stop doing as much damage as it is. Yeah. Okay. So the ring stops. I get to recover one more time, and then I'll just start throwing off um, dazzling gleams. That will o wisp was definitely a misplay. Um, wasn't sure what water bubble did. So, here I recover, and then next turn I go for the Dazzling Gleam. I'm not sure um, what the health is looking like for every Mon. So yeah, definitely with the Rain gone, that's how much damage um, his Liquidation should be doing. So now I get to throw off a um, Dazzling Gleam. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the last attack. My Dazzling Gleam and his Liquidation. Oh my god. Wow, that thing is AV. Holy shit. That's a good prep. And, and now my Chris button wants to activate. Alright, let's see who won. Um, this doesn't matter. I guess recover, whatever. Oh, I lost. Damn. 
So Brandon wins game. Brandon wins game one. Um, <laughs> this is so silly. Uh, I'll see you in game.